very simple Your plug, your midi Then run it Very simple you plug in your Akai MPD218 to your computer, no driver, no software installation needed. Then run Resolume, press Ctrl or Command plus comma to run to preference and go to your MIDI settings to make sure that it's working. And then you do this. Let me explain how I did this. In this video, we will MIDI map Akai MPD218 with Resolume Arena. This also works with Avenue as well. This awesome sweet MIDI controller has 16 pads and 6 faders. Disclaimer, this is just one way to do this. You are highly suggested to try your own things. So without doing any advanced thing right out of the box, you can make 3 sets of 48 drum pads and 18 knobs. And I think that's enough to rock a huge crowd if you know what you're doing. Let's quickly run through the features we are getting out of this controller. So as we can see, this has 16 drum pads and 6 infinite rotary knobs. So this can rotate much as you want. So we are going to make full use of this infinite rotary feature that this knob has. So here we have 3 banks for the knobs. Right now we are in bank A. This is set of bank A. Now we are on bank B. And this one is bank C. Whole new set of knobs. Same goes for pads. Now we are set A of pads. Then we have set B of pads. Then we have set C of pads. So all the pads sends velocity as you tap. If you tap softer, this sends less velocity. If you tap harder, this sends more velocity. You can just turn this on and this is going to send full level. And you can also turn this off. So in this video, we are going to assume we don't have any other MIDI controllers. We have just one MIDI controller. So we are going to use some subtle visuals so that we get to see what we are doing. For that, we are going to use this bank called Enchanted Moments. More about that later on this video. So we start with Clip Trigger. For that, let's hit Ctrl Shift M or Command Shift M on MIDI. First thing we're going to do is use our bank A for the pads to our clip triggers so that we can trigger our clips. To do that, I'm going to press Ctrl Shift M or Command Shift M on Mac. So let's select this clip and hit this one. Next this. So these four clips are MIDI mapped with these four buttons. Let's go onto the MIDI mapping detail to check out what's going on here. So let's check out what's going this part. Status says empty, but I want to change this to disconnected. Means when it's not using, this is going to send velocity to on. Let's get out of MIDI map. Let's check out what's happening here. So when there's nothing happening in this button, we have a lead button. When it's playing, this is turned off. Ideally, you want to do that when the menu is dark. So all the buttons you want to trigger should be lit. Since you have no other options, your current playback should be turned off. Let's do this for the other buttons. So when this is disconnected, this is on. So let's also MIDI map the same way. So let's check out what we have done with our MIDI mapping. To do that, let's press Ctrl Shift M to get out of MIDI mapping. So we can see all our buttons are lit. All the footages we have are lit. 
So whenever we press this button, so all the playing clips, the lights are turned off. So we have our clip trigger control with these pads, nothing fancy yet. Since we are making our playlist control fully working over MIDI controller, let's make use of these knobs. On the page A, so I am going to MIDI map these three knobs with my layer master opacity. Layer 1, layer 2, layer 3. Since we are here, let me change this bank to B and now I am going to map the transition control. But here I want to limit this to 2 second. So whenever my fader is sending the lowest value, this is going to be 0. And when it's sending the highest value, this is going to be 2 seconds. So I don't want to transition any slower. Remember you have 3 banks, so we have bank C. So what are we going to do with this bank C? Let's find something interesting for this project. Maybe let's have this layer. Maybe we have some effects. For this we have the very latest effects called strokes. And we have connected the opacity to this dashboard. And we're going to minimap this knob to layer 1 dashboard control 1. This knob to layer 2 dashboard control 1. And this knob to layer 3 dashboard control 1. Control shift M. So let's go to bank A and turn off all the layers. We just want to work for a while. Let's turn on first layer. On the C bank, we have our FX mix. Let's turn on layer 2. Let's turn off layer 1. What do we have in layer 2? Let's put something interesting on layer 2. Let's see how we are dealing with our dashboard control on layer 2. So this one has a mirror effects going on. So this one mixes this one very nicely and subtly. So let's turn off layer 2 and let's check out what do we have in our layer 4. Let's put something interesting here. So on our bank C for our knobs, we have put our dashboard control for this one. What do we have here? We have some beautiful radial cloner thing going on. And we can get out of this easily. So we are in full control. We have three layer opacity controls and three transition controls and three dashboard controls into three knobs we can just switch around. For these three knobs, let's do something more. So for the page A, let's map this knob to our master control. So that regardless whatever is going on, we can always dim down. For this two, I'm going to connect it to two effects. Let's say I want to have a strobe control. Oh, this is okay. How about connecting with this dashboard maybe. So let's say we have some effects stacked up onto our composition and we have connected them all to these dashboards. Let's have these two knobs control all four dashboards here. Let's go to minimap. Let's start this one and this one to page A. Let's change to page B. Then we have this one and this one. Let's get out of MIDI mapping. So whenever we are on page A for the knobs, we can strobe and we can do this. And onto the page two, we have two more effects on top of our composition. So if you feel like this video is really advanced for you, you want to start from even basic, I have a great news for you. There is an online course called Resolume Masterclass the link will be given in the description below. 
wait a minute, this thing is a pad. Unlike keyboard or buttons, this has velocity sensitive things. Until now, whatever we were doing, we could do the same thing with keyboard or any MIDI buttons. But this time, we're going to take the velocity to next level. So to add some juice, I have added my camera. I have a beautiful plugin called Soft Crop Tool by KPT Hippo. So I'm going to give the link in the description below. This tool is awesome. Look how beautiful I look. Voila. So this section I can call the Aliflala section. Let's work on this. So on this layer, this layer is called mask for some reason. I have left this camera and all these FXs are stacked up on this layer. So let me start with the slice transform. I have made some beautiful slices here. Let me show you. So these are my beautiful slices. Ta-da! A lot of slices. So I have used them to make some slice transforms. So I have MIDI mapped them here. So I can always go like tick, 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 tick. Let me turn off the layer three and layer two. Too much distraction. Tick, tick, tick. <laughs> so we have already used our these tabs we can go crazy like this anytime so for this row i'm going to make some awesome thing with total visual annihilation let's go to opacity let's midi map to this pad change this from toggle to velocity i'm going to duplicate this i'm going to duplicate this i'm going to duplicate this total four so for the second one i'm selecting this one for the third one and the fourth one so for the first one i want to have repaint here maybe this one this to piano means whenever i'm holding this this is active let's select two more effects remember we have mapped our velocity to opacity so when we press this button softly this gets slightly mixed and when you press it hard this mixes way more oh man i'm loving this so i could go like boom chuck boom 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 chuck bam boom chuck boom 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 chuck 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 boom that's a jazz song I'm writing next. So let's see what we can do with this FX called Acurella. So this one. Wow. So, okay. I want to MIDI map this strength with this one here, but I want to MIDI map this as a velocity. So if I'm pressing lighter, this will give less value. And if I'm pressing harder, this is giving me the highest value. But I don't want this to work like that. How about I turn this to BPM sync on the other way, make it faster as in one bit. This goes once and hold. So each time I press, this starts from a point. So if I'm pressing it very softer, this is going to jump from here. So if I'm going harder like this, this is going to start from top. Same thing I'm going to do with velocity. Same button, just velocity. And I'm going to turn this BPM sync on the other way, this one to half bit or two bits and this one to play once and hold so this one i should just limit it to something way more so now we have an aquarella that travels and finishes up so we have applied the same idea with this button so our fisheye starts from this point and then goes up to this each time i hit softly 
and this is what happens when I press this hard. Okay, so we have done something similar with this button with goo effects. So, and this button with twitch effects. So now it's time to get advanced. You know, there are two buttons here which says full level and no trip it. This full level, if I toggle it on, this is going to send the full level regardless if I'm playing it softer or harder. But we're going to use no trip it. So instead of pressing this, I can just hold this and this gets pressed. Don't get confused. This has its own BPM. I'm going to show you how to set that. So this is three, four, one, two, three. So let's change the tempo for this controller. You have to hold this button called enter config, and then you can access these values. So I can change this bit parameter to one by 32. So now I'm going to tap the tempo. This one is our tap tempo here. So let's tap the tempo. Let's say our tempo is tick tack tick tick tack tick tack tick tick tack and our bit repeat we want to have 32. No, let's put it for 16 for now. So let's hold our fisheye FX with this button note repeat. So let's change the note repeat to 1 by 32 and check out this one. So without anything, this is like that. And with the note repeat, I have some repeated notes on beat 32. Let's change this to 16. Maybe change this to 8. So for the top row, how else we want to do other than chaser? Let's do what we can do with chaser. So this is our one chaser. This is our two chaser. This is our blah blah chaser. This is our another chaser. So we can go dig, tak dig, dig ta dig, tak tak digi tak dig, tak dig, dig tak dig, dig tak dig, dig tak tak. That's all with my face. By the way, all the footages used in this video are from Enchanted Moments, a visual bank specifically made for events. I'm going to put a link in the description below if you want to get them. And use this promo code for 10% discount for you. So now let's try to apply all the MIDI mappings we have done so far into an actual music. So I'm going to narrate as I go. Hopefully this is going to help you. So I have beautifully blended in and very subtly I'm turning on my layers. So that's my dashboard control of layer 3. I have just turned it on. Maybe the PG layer as well. Oh, how beautiful is that? Let's get rid of the layer 2 for now. We're going to change layer 2 and now maybe mix in. Oh, beautiful. So, let's have something on top. Maybe change this to this one and maybe have the ox layer a little bit less. Also layer 2 goes down. Almost same with this one. So on the layer 1, I am coming with a beautiful blue visual. Then I'll just change the stroke effect. Check out this video for another MIDI mapping trick with Resolum. And hi, my name is Zunat Sabir Ahmed. I know you are awesome. If you want to get even better, check out this video next. See you next time.